that they played well enough to win. But uh, to be honest with you, I, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they should have. All fueled up and ready to go. Brought to you by Gatorade. Let's check out who's on the floor. On the floor for Detroit, Jackson and Caldwell Pope, the guards. Tobias Harris is out there with Marcus Morris. And it's Drummond in at the five. And guys, Reggie Jackson was at the end of a yo-yo last season. He starts at Oklahoma for an injured Westbrook. Westbrook comes back, sends Jackson to the bench. Then Oklahoma sends Jackson to Detroit, where he fills in for another injured starter in Brandon Jennings for the rest of the year. Phoenix on defense. Dishes it to Caldwell Pope. And Drummond kicks to Jackson. Back to Drummond. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Chandler. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Toledovic. No good with the triple. You know, when he has the ball outside like that, that's exactly the kind of D they need to play on. And it's Harris off the drive. Pass to Jackson. Now the feed to Morris. A terrific shot on the turnaround. Could be the first of a lot of mid-range jumpers that we see from him. And Detroit with a 32-50 and 50 record last season. They didn't have any help from the schedule. Uh, they had a total of 22 back-to-back -back series on the year tied for most in the league. Here's Caldwell Pope, part of their back-to-backs uh, over half their schedule. But they went 15 and 29 in those games. And that's part of the reason why the NBA wanted to examine the schedule. I mean, it was a tough year for the Pistons. It's hard to get any momentum when you're playing that many back-to-backs. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Alex Lenz checked in for Chandler. John Luer comes in for Mirza Toledovic. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for T.J. Warren. And it's Brandon Knight in for Eric Bledsoe. A lot of times in the first quarter, it will dictate how big a role a player has later on. Caldwell Pope misses in close. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Knight passes to Luer. Shoots from 12. Shot is off. The Pistons go the other way with it. They defeated Indiana in their last game. You know, they played well enough to win. But to be honest with you, I just felt like their opponent's defensive performance was shaky at best. Yeah, I'd go along with that, Greg. I mean, the game wasn't handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard for it as they should have. And he gets the bucket. Tucker's got five. 19 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. The drive by Jackson, and Baines kicks to Caldwell Pope. Bangs home the trifecta. 11 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Outside Knight, lets it go from the wing. Here's when his ego or his stats. And, and, and he knows that and, and prides himself on it. That, that also makes him the kind of player his teammates appreciate so much because they know nobody wins any rings without a guy like Tyson Chandler on the team. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from Detroit? A, a lot of tough D being played by them so far. It's been the difference maker. Greg, no uncontested shots for the most part. That's why they've had success. Bledsoe and I to the backcourt. Mirza Toledovic out there with Alex Wen, and it's Warren in at the three spot. So that's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. Detroit leading by four. Well, T.J. Warren had a very interesting start to his NBA career. Spent most of the first half in the D-League. and the second half, Clark, he finally got some minutes and really provided a spark. Yeah, you know, he doesn't have great range on his jumper right now, and he's not an elite ball handler, but he's one of the best cutters in the game. Moves well without the ball, so I think his future is bright nonetheless. Now, here's Meeks. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Harris dishes to Drummond. Good. And Harris gets the... 137 left to play here in the half. Outside Knight. 
Down low, Chandler kicks to Warren. Knight, wide open, drops in the tray. To generate offense both in transition as well as the half court. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Lure comes. And very little fight put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And, guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can cut that lead down. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. It's Jackson with the drive and stolen by Knight. Warren, the pass tonight, hammers it on to polish off the break. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. And now just a one-possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Outstanding play in the open court. Boy, guys, they've shown some great passing on their last few trips now on the floor. Excellent. Four straight passes leading to scores. Great team play. Now here's Chandler. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Hey, they got the shot they wanted off of that pick, but it just doesn't fall. Yeah, it didn't go down, but you'll take that shot every single time, Greg. That's good offense. Good one. Dishes tonight. And the pass to Goodwin. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. For the second half of basketball. Andre Drummond with a strong contribution so far in this one. I tell you what, though, it's going to be important to see if they can slow him down in the second half because so far they have not had anybody that can disrupt his rhythm down low. Well, how about guys mixing up the looks? I mean, bump him out a little bit, running, doubling. Not the kind of percentage that they were hoping for. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. You know, there was a time when, when some thought Tyson Chandler would be a draft bust. But, you know, it took some time before he found his niche and has been one of the best bigs in the NBA for the span of his career. You know, that, that, that shows you also when you draft guys out of high school, they're going to need a couple more years to really define who they are as players. Jackson kicks to Drummond, and he dunks it down. His performance today has just been so important. What a luxury to have a guy that's that dependable. Now here's Budzoe. Kicks it to Chandler. And it's sent back by Drummond. And here we go. The Pistons fast break. Stolen by Warren. Passes it to Toledovich. Fires from the line. Off the left rim and out. Chandler was a bit of a late bloomer, but you can't argue with his presence on the floor now. Well, he won a title and embodies what you need to do in order to win titles. I mean, Chandler makes all the difference on defense, and that's why teams would just still want him even late in his career. Tolliver, he's checked in for Morris, and it's Johnson in for Harris. Now here's Johnson. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Jackson passes to Drummond. Johnson right side. Lock at six. Tolliver for three. Glenn grabs the board. For Phoenix, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Bledsoe kicks to Toledovich. Offline with his three. Well, if this game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out about it. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Well, they certainly didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Yeah, and, and that's important because this game may ultimately come down to which team controls the paint in crunch time. It's Jackson with the drive. Right at the free throw line. Here's Drummond outside for Jackson. to Drummond. And he bangs it home with one hand. Solid on the one hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why, I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. And Tucker kicks to Booker. 
near the three-point line. It's Here's Caldwell Pope. They've got Warren. Brandon Knight is out there with Price. Then it's John Luer, and it's Chandler in at the center position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Over to the wing. And stolen by Knight. Pass to Price. He feeds it to Luer. Chandler is screened to take the lead. Kept alive. So he... And that drops, so they now lead by one. Marcus Morris has checked in for Anthony Tolliver. He makes one of two that time. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Morris outside. Harris kicks to Meeks. Down low, here's Caldwell Pope. No luck. And Phoenix the other way now. Well, he won't miss many of those. Especially with the defender not in the best of positions there. Outside Knight, Price dishes to Warren. Feeds to Knight, takes the three. Suns keep it alive. There's the bucket, good. And the Suns lead by three. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. And Meeks kicks to Baines. Out to Harris. Morris outside. He dishes it to Caldwell Pope. Six on the shot clock. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Shots good by Baines. Dress his team. He's looking for whatever they have left in the tank. He said, I know it's been a hard-fought game, but now's not the time to leave anything in reserve. If you're tired, come out. Otherwise, I expect you to be... It's no good that time either. The Pistons trailer. Jackson down low. He's guarded by Knight. And the wide-open shot for Morris. Jackson against Knight. There's the pick. There's the dish to Booker. He kicks to Toledovic. No good. Good work defensively by Morris. Guys are not going to be in any rush on this possession. Not with the lead. I mean, uh, but you want to use it on the ground. Yeah, I agree with you there, but at least they did get the clock stopped. That is the one saving grace of that situation. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. Well, a good game tonight for Morris. Nine points, and from long range, he's hit one three-pointer. And when it's all said and done, I got a sneaky suspicion he's going to have a few more. Now here's Booker. Dishes it to Toledovic. Phoenix, no good that time either. And so it's Detroit with the ball. They've played a great fourth quarter defense. Oh. There's a good screen. And just miss after miss. Right Ooh, the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's an eight-point game. Guys, a comeback probably not in the cards at this point. Yeah, unless something dramatic and drastic occurs. Yeah, I think you can put a fork in it. Pass to Price. The feed to Tucker. This one for three. Out to Price. And so it's Detroit with the W. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was...